So new data suggesting President Biden could have a serious problem with young voters next year. Look at this recent NBC News poll finding Biden trailing Trump 42 to 46 among voters 18 to 34, an almost always dependable voting block for Democrats. The New York Times says this trend should be taken seriously. Quote, the problem for Mr. Biden isn't too few young Democrats, is that many young Democrats don't like him. Let's bring in our Gen Z voter panel, Republican voter Cage Sawyer and independent voter Alexandra Chun. Alexandra, let's go to you first. Um, what do you think Joe Biden is doing wrong right now? Good morning, Lawrence. Thank you so much for having me on. First, Pleasure. across the board, it is so important to realize that in 2020, Joe Biden was supported heavily by young voters from 18 to 34 who turned out to vote for him. Right now, this demographic is so largely disappointed with the job that President Biden has done, regardless of political affiliation. I mean, from his age to his deprioritization of the issues that matter most to Gen Z, I think people are just so disengaged with the Biden campaign. Cage, uh, the vice president said that she loves you guys, and this is what she said in Houston, Texas. Watch. I started a college tour at the beginning of, in, in September. Um, to go out and meet with our college age leaders. And so there were colleges and universities, also community colleges and also trade schools, college aged. And let me start by saying, I love Gen Z. I love Gen Z. So I guess the question is, Cage, do you love them back? Well, Lawrence, it's always good to talk to a fellow Texan. Thanks for having me on this morning. Look, I think Kamala Harris may love Gen Z, but I don't think Gen Z loves Kamala Harris. Lawrence, Governor Abbott appointed me to the Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board this past May, and it's my job every single day to talk to young students. And I can tell you right now that the young students and the young alumni in this country, particularly in Texas and in the South, are very concerned with the economy. Their credit cards are higher, they can't afford a home, and if they try to start a business, regulatory red tape is stopping them from anything. And so Kamala Harris can keep her talk to herself. She's a career attorney who probably has never talked to a student herself. It's so true. Alexandra, what do you think about that? The, the, the struggling young people. I've talked to several friends that thought they were going to be able to get their first house, but because of the interest rates and the economy, they just can't do it. And that's part of the American dream, right? Right. And as a young person about to graduate college, it is scary heading into this economy from housing prices to the job market to everything across the board. And I don't think that any young American is very pleased with the job that Joe Biden has done. Yeah. So, Cage, it, it looks like the Democrats have shot themselves in the feet. Uh, they're not going to vote for the Democrats. It seems like they'll stay home. But what do Republicans need to do to bring them to their side? Well, Lawrence, first and foremost, Joe Biden has an ace in the hole with his student loan forgiveness program. I hate to say it, but the students I talk to, the young people I talk to, this is very, very attractive to conservative students, to liberal students, to conservative young people, to liberal young people. Donald Trump has to match this, say $10,001 or something. I mean, at this point, we're playing political trick or treat by just handing out everything. Mm -hmm. But Donald Trump, if he wants to turn support right now and momentum right now to a finger touching a voting machine on the first Tuesday of next November in 2024, he's got to attack the issue of student loans. Young people are so concerned with this. And honestly, they feel like they've been given a sham degree because half these degrees aren't even worth the paper they're written on. Wow. It's such a valid point, And you guys have such a great perspective. Cage, Alexandra, thanks for getting up early this morning. All awesome, right. Lawrence. Thanks for having you me. You got it, brother. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.